Hello friends, my name is RubyWire, and welcome to the Harry Potter Wizarding World, otherwise known as Pottermore. Um, so I, what is my, I don't know if you could see my mouse over here or not, but it was weird looking. Um, so I, I like Harry Potter. I, I didn't grow up with it. I didn't read Harry Potter till I was 17, I think. I didn't see the movies until around then too. Um, what is my cord doing? Get out of here. So, I've only recently become a fan of Harry Potter. However, I have done the house sorting thing a number of times. I think four now. And every single time I've gotten the same house. But it's been maybe a year since I've done it. So we're gonna see what's different. 2020 changed people. We're gonna see if it changed my Harry Potter house. Um, <clears throat> this is a disclaimer. I do not condone the actions of the author of Harry Potter. Uh, she has stated some not so great things. And that's all I have to say about that. But we're gonna get into Harry Potter's wizarding world because while I don't agree with the creator, I can at least enjoy the community surrounding this fantastic thing. So let's go ahead and get started. We gotta log in, I think. Okay, my name is Ruby. Why? Let's continue. There's also no sound, so I will be adding in music. And also, there's, there's this, like, the scroll bar over here, which is annoying, but whatever. Uh, I don't care about this. Ooh, my passport's materializing. Okay, so we can... We're gonna do the house. Let me see, what else did I, I have on this thing? We're gonna do the house. Can you not see that thing flickering like that? You can't. So, where it says favorites right here... It was just flickering like nuts. It's doing it again, but you can't see it. That's weird. But uh, let's see, we're gonna do the house, we're gonna do the Patronus, and we're gonna do the wand. Let's start with the house. Who's whose house? Start the sorting ceremony. Okay. No, there's no sound, there's still no sound. Moon, I like the stars, stars are cool. Choose a category to continue. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would I take? It's a cat. That's a toad, right? And that's an owl. Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can scroll down. I would go with an owl, I think. Cats are cool, but I'd go with an owl. Because it's like, that's the wizard thing. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I think it's between a screech or a snowy. Because these ones, don't get me wrong, they're cool, but these ones are just my I think I'd go with the Screech. Uh, if you could have a power, which power would you choose? To read minds, change the past, invisibility is a maybe, speak to animals is a no, superhuman strength maybe, change your appearance at will? Absolutely. That one for sure. Would you rather be liked, trusted, feared, envied, imitated, or praised? I'd rather be liked. I don't want to be feared. But see, I think with trust comes a certain amount of, like you have to, I mean, you don't have to like someone to trust someone. I think I'd rather be trusted. I like it, I like it when people trust me, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, once every century, the Flutterby bush produces the flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of the sea, home, a crackling log fire, or fresh parchment. <laughs> no, it wouldn't smell like paper. If it were to lure me, I think... Not the smell of home. Not the smell of the sea. I think I'd go with the fire. I mean, it's not like my home smells bad or anything, or that I don't love my home. It's just a log fire is... Oh, which of the following would you hate... Would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant, selfish, ordinary, or cowardly? Oh, I would hate all of these. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd hate cowardly as much. Ordinary, not really. I, it wouldn't bug, bug me as much. But selfish or ignorant? It would piss me off if someone called me ignorant. For sure. It would piss me off if someone called me ignorant. Uh, standing on top of something very... Oh, wait. Which nightmare would frighten you most? Uh, standing on top of something high and realizing that there's no hands or footholds, nor any barrier to stop the falling... Uh, being forced to speak in such a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you, and everyone laughs. Are you going to find that neither your friends or your family have any idea who you are? 
that wouldn't that doesn't frighten me because that's honestly an interesting thing that I've thought about like what would happen if people didn't know an eye at the keyhole of the dark wood in this room in which you're locked that would terrify me uh, I'm right-handed oh it's ready to make a decision oh I'm excited yeah I knew it <laughs> I knew it every single every single time that I've taken this quiz I've gotten Gryffindor <laughs> Every single time. Every single time I've taken this, I've gotten Gryffindor. That's five times now that I've gotten it. Courage, bravery, determination. If you want to know more about Gryffindors, they're like the main focus house of the entire series, so you should probably know about them if you like Harry Potter. Okay, next we'll do our Wound. Because this one is it's not as interesting to me. But... Answer the following seven questions honestly. Oh, I'm I'm almost exactly average. I think I'm 5'10 or 5'11. My eyes are blue. Uh, I was born on an even number, the 12th. Oh, what do I pride myself most on? <clears throat> That's a great question. I like to think it's my imagination, but I know that's not it. Originality definitely. I mean, I'm original in, uh, in many senses, but I also make YouTube videos that other people have already done, but whatever. I want to go with my intelligence because I'm not an idiot. Optimism is definitely not there. <laughs> it's either my intelligence or my kindness. I think if I ask my, or if, if I were to say what I pride myself on, I would go with my intelligence, but if other people asked or if you ask someone who knows me well, like what they think of, of these seven things when they think of me, they probably say my kindness. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue towards the forest, the castle, or the sea? Is it daytime? <laughs> if, it's, if it's the middle of the day, I would take the forest. If it were nighttime, I'd either go towards the sea or the castle. But I think I'm going to go with the C because survival survival instincts in me say that I know that the best. What do I most fear? Oh, none of these. What do I most fear? Well, my biggest fear is long, empty hallways. So it's not really small spaces. I don't mind small spaces. I don't mind fire. I guess it that's that's closest to isolation. So we'll go with that. Ooh, in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Uh, silver dagger, ornate mirror, glittering jewel, bound scroll, black glove, dusty bottle, or golden key? Probably the dagger. That'd be cool. Oh, are we done? Oh. Uh, cypress wood with a phoenix feather core, 12 and a half inches, and unyielding flexibility. Okay. Well, that's my wand. <laughs> I don't... It's a box. They used to have the actual... Oh, there it is. That's pretty cool looking. But last but not least, the Patronus. This one's my favorite. Every time I've done this, I've gotten the type of bird, which is really, really weird for me because I thought there was a bit of randomness to it. Oh, this one does have sound. Okay, cut the music. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. Remus Lupin. So, I've gotten a bird every time. I think I've gotten a black swan, a goose, and then two other types of birds. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Okay, sounds good. Relax, think of your happiest memory. God, what is that? I don't know what my happiest memory is. Oh, I know what my happiest memory is. Hmm. It's probably the first time I ever rode my... Uh, maybe not. Sun, wind, or rain. We'll go with sun. A very happy memory of mine is definitely the first time I rode my motorcycle on my own. Like, that was a great one. I don't know if it's my happiest, though. Uh, make or improve. I like to make stuff. I, I don't I don't do like second drafts. I go with first draft every time. My nose is super itchy. Oh my gosh. 
Around, under, over. Uh, around. Hmm. I hope I get something good. That looks like a deer. You're so close to a patron, it sounds like taking form. Yeah? Safe, free, free. Live free. Live free, but don't be an asshole. What we got? Black, gray, or white? Ooh, ooh, white. That, that one would have been a tough one for me because I've always been like in between on those colors. It used to be that I liked black, white, then gray, but now it's white, black, gray. What do we have left? Click and drag and release your Patronus. What'd I get? I got a Siberian cat. Really? I'm not even like a cat person. <laughs> I mean, I don't dislike cats. I have cats. But I've always gotten a bird, so that's interesting to me. I wonder what changed. Huh. Well, this has been Pottermore. As we've learned, I am a Gryffindor, which has been the same. Um, my wand is whatever. Cypress wood with the phoenix feather core, 12 and a half inch unyielding flexibility. I don't care about that. And uh, my Patronus is a Siberian cat, which surprises me because it's always been a type of bird. But that's all the time that we have for, I mean, it's not all the time we have, but it's all the content that we have for this video. If you enjoyed this, you can do this for yourself. It's wizardingworld.com, I think is what it's called now. I think so. I don't know. But if you want to do it for yourself, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, Harry Potter's fun. Enjoy the community. Don't get too wrapped up in the drama. <laughs> There's a lot of bullshit that's gone on with this, the author. Um, I'm personally of the affection that child prodigy Daniel Radcliffe wrote the books. <laughs> um, but don't don't take it too seriously. There, there's always going to be people out there that have some not so great opinions. But opinions are opinions. Who am I to say they're wrong unless they're uh, actually wrong and they're not rooted in, you know, fact. But that's neither here nor there. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see all you in the next video. Peace.